Hello, my name is Andy, and I will show you how to trade profitably within the price channel. On the chart, you see there is already a price channel drawn, and this is done automatically by the RoboFX Channel Expert Advisor. However, I'm going to show you how to do it manually. And first of all, we're going to answer the question, what is the price channel? And after that, how to uh, correctly and precisely draw the price channel so we can trade profitably. Now, let's see what the price channel is. Well, in a nutshell, the definition of a price channel is um, the price channel is basically the area between the two parallel lines that are um, drawn to unite the highs and the lows that the price makes. Um, as you can see, I have attached the zigzag indicator as well. As you can see, the price goes up and down, up and down. Overall, it is falling, so we can see that we had a downtrend, at least at somewhere at this point. And by uniting the highs that the price makes, and by the way, these are called, since we are in downtrend, these are called lower highs and lower lows. Um, by uniting these highs and the lows that the price makes, uh, we have basically uh, drawn two parallel lines, and between these lines, the price seems to bounce only to break out later when the trend also changes. So this is, in a nutshell, a price channel. The line on top, it's called the resistance line and the line on the bottom, the support line. And um, some traders, when drawing these lines, some traders like to focus or like to unite, let's say, the end of the candles. So as I was saying, some traders like to uh, unite the end of the candles, the top of the candles, when they are uh, considering the spikes as well, when, when they are drawing the channel, the lines, other traders like to focus on the candles close. I can say they are both correct and both wrong in the, in the same way. It depends mostly on the trader preferences. I tend to uh, draw the price channel depending on the trading signal. And this is usually a, a candle signal, a candle pattern uh, that will indicate to me, or show me that the price once bounced from the um, from the support of the resistance lines, it will go to the opposite direction. And this will lead us to the next uh, question on its answer, how to draw the price channel. Before I, I show you how to draw the price channel, well, the next price channel, since the, uh, since the trend seems to have changed right now, I'm going to say that the price channel and the trend are many times the same thing and whether they like it to believe it or not or maybe they haven't realized it trend traders often trade within the price channel even though they, they didn't draw um, the support and resistance line or a channel that looks like this now as we can see at some point we had the lowest low the last lowest low that were the price created was right here and the next low that the price made was a little higher than the previous low. And also the next high that the price made was a little higher than the previous low that the price made within the downtrend, the downtrend price channel. And this is an indication that the trend will change and now it will continue. The price will now continue to rise, which obviously it did. Now to draw the next channel, we have to connect or to try to connect as much as we as best as we can the first two or sometimes three because in this case they match the first two or three uh, higher uh, sorry highs or lows that the price makes and since now we are in uptrend we have changed the name they are no longer called lower highs and lower lows they are called higher highs and higher lows so high for uptrend low for downtrend and we will unite the first two and we'll have drawn the support line and then we do the same with the higher highs and this will be well more or less i'm going to focus on how the channel looks <clears throat> and this will be the next price uh, channel in uptrend so this is another discussion for some other moment we can see that also the price bounced and broke out of the channel to uh, continue further up at this point, we probably need to draw another channel. Uh, however, I'm going to leave this discussion for another video. Uh, this only strengthens the move and it shows us that the price indeed is going to rise and we have a strong uptrend at this point. So this is how to draw the next price channel. 
um, this is the price channel and the next let's see how exactly are we going to trade or how to trade profitably or within the price channel and what the price channel trading strategy involves since trading within the price channel it's almost the same or the same in most of the times as trading with the trend let's see how we can sell in the downtrend channel and let's focus on the down downwards sorry the downwards channel that um, happened before the upwards channel right here so basically what it means it means that we have to sell and if you don't know uh, why we should sell in downtrend that's simply because the price will most likely continue to fall increasing the the chances that the sell will become profitable it will not lose money and second is Let's get rid of the candle. Second is that the moves down are basically longer uh, than the moves up. So selling in downtrend will make more pips if profitable than buying in uptrend. We can see that this move, for example, was uh, 600, uh, almost 600 pips. The next was almost 400 with the buy. The sell would have been 400 pips. The buy only 200 and so on. So almost double for this part of the chart. As per where exactly to enter the trade and how to trade within the price channel, we simply wait for the price to come close to, to touch or to bounce from the resistance line and continue its move down. And for that, We can also look for the, the candle patterns. We have a candle pattern right here. It's an engulfing uh, bearish candle. So for this one, for example, this would have been a good sell entry right here. Sell signal. The stop loss, I usually like to have the stop loss above the price channel, but other traders like to have the stop loss before the uh, previous lower high or above the previous uh, lower high. Not before, sorry. Uh, this would have been a sell signal for the traders who like to also consider the median line of the price channel. I don't, but it is. It is a good signal right here. Another signal is here when the price bounced from this um, two candles that closed and opens at the same uh, point and then the next one was obviously a bearish candle so this could have been a sell right here or maybe here <coughs> and again the stop loss would have been uh, my stop loss have been above the channel i don't know if i would have entered this trade but i would have entered this one for sure and that's simply because the next bearish candle it's longer than the very uh, small body bullish candle that was before that and almost touched the channel so that would have been an ending for me so basically what i have previously said wait for the price to come close or to touch the channel or to go through it and drop back inside the channel again and continue to fall down to enter a trade um, to enter a sell in this downtrend and as for the exits well there are traders who like to exit the trade when the price touches the opposite side of the channel so this could have been a, basically the lower low this would have been a, a potential take profit also this one also this one or for traders who are using a trailing stop well that's another uh, story so this is basically how to trade within the price channel manually and this concludes the first part of, uh, of my uh, video in the next one i'm going to show you how to trade um, within the price channel using expert advisor i'm going to use the price channel expert advisor that's exactly its name from robotfx.org and you can by the way download it for free if you want just go ahead and download it do mind that it's fully functional but limited to trading on demo account so don't try it on your live account it will not work for that i'm afraid you will have to purchase it however if you bear with me i'm going to explain the settings in a bit and by the way we are also explain on its page as well as some uh, some trading examples and everything is explained already <coughs> 
I'm going to do it again in video. If you bear with me, after I will explain to you the settings, I will also show you a coupon to make your purchase uh, much easier if you decide to ever purchase it for your life and your account. Now, let's see the settings that the Price Channel Expert Advisor has. And as I, I was saying, I'm going to explain the settings and you will see why using this Expert Advisor can be better than trading with the price channel manually. It will not only save you time, but it also have some extra features that uh, traders will need and they usually use. So first we have the client email that can be ignored if you are trading on a demo account. And obviously you have not purchased this expert advisor to trade on your uh, licensed live account. Uh, after that, we have the trading days filter which is uh, basically allows the trader to enable or disable specific days of the week uh, when they want or they don't want to trade. Obviously, true means that you want the expert advisor to open trades on Sunday. False means that you are not, you don't want the expert advisor to open trades. And there's also the possibility to uh, disable trading for NFP, which stands for non-farm payroll Fridays. Maybe you don't like to trade high volatility times because uh, well, you are uh, afraid you might maybe lose or something like that. And there's also the possibility to restrict trading before NFP, the first day before the non-farm payroll, <clears throat> and to enable or disable trading during the Christmas holidays. Just set it to false. And Christmas start set by default to 20 means that from the 20th of December, if we disable trading, from the 20th of December until the end of the year, the Expert Advisor will not open any trade and it can be extended by disabling trading for the uh, New Year holidays. Uh, New Year holidays end uh, by default ends on 5th of January. It means that the Expert Advisor from the beginning of the year will not trade until 5th of January. So basically it means from the 20th of December until 5th uh, January, the Expert Advisor will not place trades. Again, maybe because you want to, um, you don't want to trade during low volatility times. You can disable trading during the winter holidays. We have the possibility to set the auto GMT time. Uh, Greenwich Meridian time, which should be set to true when trading normally. However, if you want to test this expert advisor in the strategy tester, uh, you should set the manual uh, time uh, yourself. And this is, by the way, the difference between the broker's time and your time. And it can be a negative number if the difference is negative. It's in hours, by the way. Next, we have the possibility to enable or disable the trading sessions. Uh, if you want to use this first enable trading sessions by setting it to true um, and it will apply to all of them and after that enable or disable the trading sessions you want the expert advisor to trade or not to trade so for example if you want to trade only the uh, so only the new york session you will have the trade new york session set, uh, set to true obviously the london session set to false and tokyo sessions also set to false, but please mind that these are just names. You can enter any time frames right here, any hours, any start and finish to match, for example, the Berlin session um, or the Australian session and so on. So as I was saying, if you want to trade only the New York session, just enable the New York session only and set the start of the New York session and the end of the New York session or whenever you want the expert advisor to stop trading assuming that for example you want to trade only the first two hours the high volatility of the new york session you probably set from 12 to 14. <clears throat> and this is it about the trend filter uh, sorry about the day and the time filter sometimes the price might create channels that go against the main trade and for that reason we have implemented uh, trend detector which is based on the moving average that can be customized by the trader it is the moving average attached on the chart by the way although it doesn't need to be attached so basically it means we are telling this expert advisor that if the price is above uh, 200 simple moving average it, that it is allowed to place buys it is allowed to buy 
and if it is below the moving average, this moving average, it is allowed to sell. Otherwise, the expert advisor will ignore the buy and the sell signals. So even more than this, we can have we have the possibility to uh, use this trend detector, the moving average on a different time frame. Um, let's say higher as uh, usually trading with the trend goes. Now. Uh, the next settings, it's about the channel itself. We have the possibility to set a minimum channel width <clears throat> and also the channel length in bars or candles or candlestick, however you want to call them. Uh, also choose the colors for the, uh, for the price channel. Next in the settings, we have the maximum amount of orders allowed to be uh, opened at the same time on the same chart, and that by default it's set to 1. Um, and if you want to increase this number to have more than one order at the same time opened, then I suggest you also make use of the next input, which is the open next trade uh, bars or candles. And that means if I set this to 12, as in this example, it means that the second order will be placed only if at least 12 candles uh, closed before the expert advisor placed the previous order, the first one, and so on. So there will be a distance of at least 12 candlesticks between them. But it is useful because you don't want the expert advisor to open too many trades in the in a too uh, small amount of time, too short amount of time. After that, we have the minimum profit, and this applies to this option right here, close trades at opposite signal. Uh, first of all, close trades as opposite signal instructs the expert advisor to uh, close the opposite trades whenever uh, obviously an opposite signal occurs. So if you have a buy open on the chart and there is a sell, a valid sell signal, then with this option set to true, the expert advisor will close that, but only if the profit of that trade or trades if there are more than one will be at least $0.1 or whatever account currency you are using. So. Um, make use of this if you want. It acts like a, um, the idea is if the trend will change and the expert advisor will place another order according to the new trend that will probably be profitable. It is most likely better to close the previous losing trades in case you don't like hedging. Otherwise you can let them, if you like to hedge, you can let them both run. It's a trader's preferences, preference really. <clears throat> The trader has the possibility to also set a stop loss on the take profit, different for the buys and for sales. Um, some traders think, or um, I don't really believe that, but something that the traders, in the sorry, that the sales, the short trades sometimes can accumulate more profit, and they would maybe want to increase the take profit for shorts, while having it smaller for the buys for the long trades. Again, a trader's personal preference, in my opinion. After that, we have the possibility to enable or disable the lot size management. And by having the lot size management set to true, which is enabled, we instruct expert advisor to use as lot size a percentage of the free margin, which is um, can be set in the next input, which is this one. Lot size as percentage of free margin, in this example, is 1%. 1000, 0.001. Uh, if you don't want the expert advisor to, cal to automatically calculate the lot size, just disable this. And the expert advisor will use this lot size right here, the fixed amount. The next inputs, the break even, the tailing step on the slippage, are all values in pips and they are self explanatory. I assume everyone knows what they mean. I'm just going to say that the break even and the trailing stop are the same, uh, uh, use the same value. And if you don't want to use the trailing stop, all you have to do is just set the trailing step to a very high number of pips, impossible to achieve basically. And then the expert advisor will obviously place only the break even and it will not follow the price because the trailing step will never be reached. There is a possibility to um, use the martingale to recover losing trades. And if you are not comfortable with martingale, just disable it. Not everyone likes it. However, if you are using it, do not get, uh, do not get greedy. Use a decent martingale uh, lot size multiplier. 
and do retry the martingale a certain number of times like as i said do not bet on the same coin too many times because eventually you might lose my favorite personal trading style if you want is to use martingale only once and no more than double the lot size but again it depends on the trader and on their risk appetite um, the trade comment again self-explanatory is this the comment that can be used to monitor trades opened by this expert advisor it will appear um, in the history uh, next to the open trades open and closed trades and then we have the magic number which by default is set to negative one negative one means that the expert advisor will not place any uh, will not set any magic number any specific number for the trades that it will open However, it has to be said that if you are using the same expert advisor or multiple uh, similar charts, like attach it on two USD charts, you will have to use a different magic number uh, for each of these charts. And this is for so that the expert advisor on one chart will not interfere with the trades on the other chart. Otherwise, if you use it on different charts, you can just leave it on negative one. It will make no difference. And this is all about the settings and I hope by uh, explaining you the settings um, you will uh, decide to or you will try to automate this, um, this trading style. And since you have watched until now I'm, I'm just going to show you the coupon very fast to ease your purchase that in case you decide to purchase this export advisor and use it on your live account. Um, otherwise go ahead and download it for free and leave a suggestion if you want under the comment in the comments area if you think something needs to be improved and the promo code is ytvideo10 just apply it and you will get a 10% discount and this will ease your purchase Next, I'm going to head back to the MetaTrader and I will start the strategy tester. I will show you the setting that I have used right now for this uh, year, 2022, until the moment of shooting this video. And, uh, sorry. And uh, I want to, I, I want the traders to get an idea of how the expert advisor works by seeing it in the strategy tester. We are not testing for profitability now, we are just testing for functionality. So you can safely ignore the uh, results. Just uh, look how the expert advisor trades and how it is designed to trade uh, within the price channel. So these are the settings. Feel free to pause. Maybe you want to duplicate them, although um, I suggest you find your own settings when you decide to use this expert advisor to trade. I'm not martingaling. I'm opening only one order at the same time. This is the distance between uh, the uh, open trades although it is not used because i'm only opening only one trade <clears throat> i do close this trade if there is an opposite signal and uh, well the minimum profit it's the same 10 cents i'm using the lot size management in this uh, demonstration i'm using a big break even uh, because basically i want expert advisor closing the trades when um, there's an opposite signal rather than cause it a break even or a stop loss and that's why even the stop loss it has, it's a little uh, it's a little bigger for my taste but let's see how the expert advisor works uh, okay by the way i'm using as a model the open prices only because i want the expert advisor to finish faster the demonstration and uh, you will probably want to use the pips and here how it goes.
Africa.
All right, and the test finally finished. And this were the results for 2022, almost the entire year. Uh, there weren't so many trades, however, the drawdown looks great and the profit was more than 100%. So I would say this was a success. But again, don't use the strategy tester to test for profitability. Use it to test for functionality. And I will end the video now by saying that um, again, you can download this expert advisor for free to try it on your demo account. I've already showed you the coupon if you decide to use it and trade on your live account. And if you think it costs too much or you still can't afford it, we do have an affiliate system where you simply need to share our website link and you will uh, you will get credit to, um, to purchase any of our paid products, paid expert advisors without your um, referred people to uh, become customers. Basically, all you have to do is get your link and share it, for example, on social media without spamming the others. Just a link and a simple description. And again, I will invite you to find all the settings and the uh, instructions on the Expert Advisors page, but you can find only on robotfx.org. And uh, this is it. Good luck trading. Tell us what you think in the comments. If you have any suggestions, feel free to tell us and we will get that <coughs> from you. Thank you very much.